everybody and welcome back to another episode of uh, Making a Game. Uh, uh, sorry, I had to close my window. Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't... Sorry for missing the episode last week. I didn't know what I was going to do. Well, I did, but I couldn't get it to work. So, uh, I, I skipped a week. And now this week, I'm going to show you how to do menus. Um, yeah, what I wanted to do involved the environment and uh, an object rock and stuff. Now, it, it wasn't going to be collisions with the rock. We've already gone through collisions is essentially the same thing <coughs> but um yeah i wanted to like you know be able to have them get picked up put in your character put down somewhere else sort of thing yeah um so instead we're just going to do a main menu system i'll get working on how to pick up objects and have them actually get placed on your character and stuff like that uh that will be used later on for enemies and enemy AI and how you can like force them down a narrow path like say no there's only lava in the way they have to walk through the lava sort of thing yeah um right then let's get going uh menus uh so you create your play buttons right there's mine that's just normal that's you know not normal and then you create the objects for it i've not got any code in there but uh yeah uh i've moved all the stuff off the initialize um uh, room because this is just the room that where you set your global variables you set you run your scripts that you might need to l like ro load uh saves and stuff like that and then you obviously run, go to the next room straight away. So nothing really goes on in this room. And then we have the menu. Uh, we can close that one down. All right. So all right. First of all, let's just um, menu, play. Let's just slap these play buttons uh, and exit buttons in here. Yeah, I made them ridiculously big just so that um, you know, it's easier to see them and shit. All right. So if we click pl click play now. And all we've done is put those in there. Nothing's going to happen. I can tell you that straight off the bat. Nothing is going to happen. Going, 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 gone. Uh, fucking, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> right, so obviously those f fucking flying back and forth between um, uh, the the two image sprites we have. So we got image... Uh, uh, speed, image, speed, speed, fucking equals zero. And that's, uh, that's what we need. <laughs> and then we copy that, go to the exit, and then we can just paste that straight back in, and they'll be exactly the same. Um, yeah, okay, so that should now, <laughs> uh, one sec, is my mouse being loaded anywhere? Not there. There. No, okay, so we've got to place the mouse in there <coughs> as well, because that's what we're going to use to put that off the screen. Uh, that's what we're going to use to... Oh, yeah, it is persistent. Sorry, I'm I'm just checking loads of shit. That's what we're going to use to interact with this menu. We're going to be clicking on the play, like you hover over it, it changes. Or maybe it only changes when you click on it. I don't know, but uh, yeah. Let's let's get into that. So we go into our play button. Step. Create step. Easy enough. Let me check, just chuck a little bit of code in there. Um, I I just like to name this as the main loop because this is, in fact, the main loop. Um, and in here, we're just gonna have if place meeting x y o b j Cursor, I think I named it. Yep. And mouse uh, check button. So if uh, the mouse, if it's touching the mouse, and you know you're pressing the mouse button down, uh, well, and you're pressing the mouse button down. Yeah, there we go. That's what you need to do that. We're just going to image index 
equals one. Else image index equal <laughs> equals zero. And now what that what that's gonna do is I'll just show you. Oh shit! What have I done? Else what? Oh yeah. Never put a semicolon at the end of an if statement. It breaks it. And I, I don't know why. <laughs> right, so, um, what's that? Just go like that. Click in the left mouse button. You can, t you can tell by the mouse being inverted as well. And, uh, yeah, the, the play button changes. And it only changes when um, you're clicking on it. If we wanted to have, add a sa safety measure, like, because at the moment... Uh, once it loads up again, uh, you can hold down the left mouse button and go over it. Uh, if you want that, that's fine. But um, we can also add a safety measure here. Go in and uh, say pressed equals I don't know one, and then uh, yeah. Uh, but before that, we go if. And then we do this. Copy. Oh, yeah. Paste it there. But instead of just check button, we go check button pressed. And that didn't work because I put a capital P because I'm a pleb. In there we can just go pressed equals one. And then underneath that else naturally go like all that pre uh it's a capital p pre 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 pressed equals zero uh why am i doing this um this hopefully i hope i've done it right um oh oh yeah it's only checking as soon as you press it fucking piss piss bollocks piss Um. Hmm. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me let, I'll come back to that. But yeah, I know what I mean. I I know what I mean. Do you know like on um, Windows, like when you're doing setups and shit like that, you can hold the mouse over the button, drag it away. The button's no longer pressed, but as soon as you put it back on, so long as you've held the mouse button, it'll reactivate itself, sort of thing. That's what I'm kind of going for. But yeah, that's not important. So um. <laughs> Now we've done that, we can copy this part be here uh, again. If place meeting object left, but now I want underscore release. Uh, I can't, I can't spell, guys. I'm sorry. Let me just get rid of that so then it'll pop up. Released. <laughs> MB underscore left. Uh, I got double F, yeah, that, 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 that's not good, that's not what we want, uh, room, go to, RM, I don't know, underscore, underscore, play, right, let's create that room before we forget and come up with an error, RM, underscore, play, and in here we'll just chuck the player, and the camera, is the camera persistent? Play up, camera up. If it's not, so oh uh, yeah, because the player creates the camera, in its create event, and I forgot that. So in this, uh, uh, fucking cock me, and get rid of that. Get rid of the camera. What else does the player create? Just the camera. Okay, we could no no because we don't want infinite mouse mice, mouses, on the. Right, so yeah, blah blah blah. Done. Play. Step. Go here. So now that should work, so long as the mouse button is released whilst on the button. So, ah, what have I done? <laughs> okay, it didn't work. Oh yeah, because I didn't find pressed as. A thing. Um, we can keep pressed to equal 
uh, zero for now. We can leave that there. Uh, you can leave code that you don't use in the code. It's just messy and it takes up data spaces that could be used for something else, like it might slow down loading and stuff. So now you can click on it, you can drag it off, and it won't work. Go like that. And as soon as you let go, boom, you're in the level. And you're walking around as your awesome green haired little character that doesn't seem to have a working camera because I forgot to enable the use of views. Like a fucking dick. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Always enable views if you're using this camera. If not, then you just want the entire screen to be displayed at any time, then you can go for it. Do it. Do you. You do you. Uh, so yeah, um, that is essentially a menu. And then we just... Uh, <laughs> whatever you do to the play button, you can do to the pace button, except for on this part here where it says room go to play, just um, game and that's it one of them will uh, make you play the other one will say fuck off where where we're going oh yeah and the camera it's working now that that confused me for a second was not expecting it uh, exit and that works as well so that's the basis that's the very basics of a menu system um, just thinking what else I could uh, do. Should I go back and see if I can make that fucking press thing work? So we got pressed to equal zero. And then here. If. Awesome. Uh, and here we gotta go. And. Pressed equals one. Yeah, it's making sure that's all there. If place meeting cursor um, left copy. Um right. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, I know what to do. That's pressed. Yeah, so then we got that. Then in here we can just go pressed equals one. If pressed equals one and um, not mouse button check left. Uh, pressed equals zero. The well, right, okay. Let me let me explain what I just did. Right, that's checking to see if you pressed the mouse button on uh the button, and then that's checking to see have you let go of the mouse button yet. If you haven't, it won't return to zero. Oh, pardon me. But you can't click somewhere randomly on the screen, hover it over the uh, fucking <laughs> can't then hover it over the button. So I can't click here, hover it over and have it work. Oh, shit, fucking cock bastard bollocks. <laughs> you know why I did that? Because I'm an idiot and I didn't go and pressed equals one. But then, because I'm adding that, there, let's let's make the entire screen fucking visible. Uh, sorry, I I just like adding brackets around everything, so then you know, there is no chance of it fucking up. Because that's at the bottom, we need that to be at the top before anything else now. Uh, except for main loop, loop, and then but that we can just go like that. Why? Um, hmm. I don't know why. And then that's got to go before that. No, I, I do know. Um, because it's going to run through it this way. It never goes up up the fucking whatever I just did undo. Right, so it's going to it's going to check if pressed is equal to 1 um and you've let go of the mouse button whilst on the button. If you have, you play. 
and then it's checking, wait, press the, and if you didn't do that, then wait, pressed is equal to 1, right? Yeah? Have they let go of the mouse button? No. But so you know, pressed isn't equal to 1, it skips that as well, and then it goes, right, okay, well, they've, they're on the, they're on the button, they've pressed the left mouse button, pressed must equal 1, and then pressed equals 1 until you let go of the mouse button. But it doesn't check to see that until the next frame. Uh, like if you've released the mouse button and then we've naturally got the just changing that that can go anywhere but preferably at the bottom we I, I always like to change the images and the sprites at the very end I normally put them in an end step sort of thing so now go like that didn't work didn't work go like that it works what I'm awesome hell yeah <laughs> Oh god, I feel like a vain son of a bitch now. But yeah, um, see, click, can't go on to play, didn't work. Uh, only on it, then you go off, you can go back on. That's exactly what I wanted. And But on exit, because we haven't got the code, you can just click anywhere, drag it on, and release, and it'll exit the game. Uh, so now what we got to do, again, uh... Again, if we copy the big part, because the small part is quite literally just pressed equals zero. And that's it. And then, over here, we just... Is there a way to delete? Yeah, delete event. And then we paste the event. But over here, where is it? Go to room play? Nah. Game. And open close bracket. Colon. Semicolon, semicolon. Uh, I forgot to put semicolons in the play one. Uh, fucking, there we go. Uh, did I do them in here? No, bastard. Which means I got to do them in the exit as well. Uh, it's, it's just a good practice to get into, and I'm I'm not into it yet. <laughs> semicolons, they save your life, and they also destroy it in more complex languages. So no, exit is exactly the same. So yeah, we have a, a menu. <laughs> kind of. We have a play and an exit. Uh, you can do this with any amount of uh, buttons. You could have a fucking thousand buttons on your bearing in mind. That would kill the load time. But yeah. Um, that's essentially the menu done. <laughs> Uh, is there anything else I want to do? No? Maybe? No. No, 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 anyway. And I am recording this on the uh, Wednesday, like I said. Uh, I missed the 22nd, unfortunately. I'm sorry, guys. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you liked it, press the like button. If you loved it, press the subscribe button. And don't forget, if you did like it, or love it, to share it with anyone that you think might want to learn Game Maker code. I want Game Maker 2, but uh, it's expensive and I don't have money uh, yet. I get paid at the end of the month. I'm so happy about that. Right, okay. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.